when you look at the brackets, particularly the West, let's go to the West because I haven't talked about them. I think Gonzaga is going to win a national championship. Uh, I'm 90% sure I'm going to make them my team. Georgia State's a nice team. Rob Lanier's done a good job, but it's not going to happen. Interesting second game. Boise State actually won uh, the big they, the Mountain West. Boise State's had a pretty good year, and for them to be a nine is interesting. Colorado State got the six. But against Memphis... Now, I got to tell you, Memphis can ball. Memphis can really ball. Memphis kicked Imani Bates off. It's been a long story, and they've been very good. But they've got a kid named DeAndre Williams who's 25 years old. He's been some places. He's seen some things. And when that dude gets playing, Boise will not be able to handle him. Now, it's a matter of whether or not that dude gets playing. I watched for myself when Memphis played at Houston. I did the game for Westwood One Radio. And I got to tell you, when you're out there, if you'd have told me that the number number four or five team at the time was Memphis, I'd have said you're right. I would have. That's a hell of a ball club. New Mexico State, Chris Gans. Chris Gans, a hell of a basketball coach. Chris Gans was the head coach at Bowling Green, won 20 games, got in a situation at a bar. They had to let him go. He's resurfaced, and he has been terrific. Remember, this is the team that beat Abilene Christian. Now, Abilene Christian last year did what every coach dreams about. Abilene in Texas beat who? Texas. But this this team here, this New Mexico State team, if you're looking for an upset 12-5, This New Mexico State team is tough. They're well-schooled. They don't take bad shots. They get the ball down the court. UConn, tough, well-schooled. They take a couple bad shots, but they're going to fight you to the end. I think Danny Hurley and the boys win, but this New Mexico State team, I'm putting a circle on it. You want to talk about teams? You want to talk about teams playing well against their competition? I'll give you teams playing well against their competition. Vermont. Now you're like, Dan, I don't care about Vermont. You might have to care about Vermont. Can I walk you through Vermont? Can I walk you through Vermont as they go ahead and take on Arkansas? Arkansas should win the game. But may I just tell you, this is what the 13th seed Vermont did against, quote, like competition. Your league is, quote, like competition. You know how the media always tells you, Well, teams know each other. Let me know when Doug comes on, will you please? Uh, Teams know each other. Okay. Here's what Vermont did. Their last four games, including their tournament, they won by 19, 39, 32. And then they beat UMBC in the championship game by 39 more. Now look. I think Vermont has a hell of a basketball program. I think, and I'm going to give you this in the fades later and on in tomorrow, do not sleep on this Vermont team. This is the, remember T.J. Sorrentine when he's hitting big shots to beat Syracuse back in the day? That's what you got here. You got a team that can go ahead and beat some folk. Don't sleep on Vermont. Uh, I'll take the winner of Notre Dame Rutgers over Alabama. Alabama getting the sixth seed, good for them. That's all based on early work. The early work thing is asinine. I'm not going to criticize the committee. It's a tough job. But I got to tell you, mark my words, the 11th seed that comes out of the play-in game, Notre Dame and Rutgers, is going to beat Alabama, period. I have no idea, and I didn't take the time to watch Montana State. I didn't do it. But I will tell you, I have taken the time (coughs) to watch Texas A&M. Texas A&M, damn good. Texas A&M under Mark Adams has been really tough. Really tough defensively. Really good offensively moving the basketball. That's not close. Davison and Michigan State. You know Sparty's a one-point favorite in this game? I talked about this last night on Visson. Here's the deal. You ready? Sparty has to have, has to, must have Gabe Brown or Max Christie make shots in this. Hogard was great the other night. But if you're relying on A.J. Hogard, you ain't winning a game. Here's the difference, and this is something to watch. 
The difference might be in this statistic, deflections. Can't believe I'm even saying it. Why are deflections? Mark my words on this. I'm going to talk about it all week. Davison can really pass the ball. I mean, Davison can really pass it. All right? Well, you get long, you get athletic in the lane. You got to tip the tipped pass in this game for Michigan State, as weird as that sounds, is important. If Davison can get comfortable passing, Michigan State might have a problem. Remember Gabe Brown? Gabe Brown's been through everything. Remember last year, Izzo yelled at him and everybody, uh, Brandon Hayward, the laziest of all human beings. Oh, he's mad because Izzo yelled at Gabe Brown. Gabe Brown's fine. 